Okay, so how you warm up is up to you, how you structure a practice is up to you. But I see quite a lot of people doing it, not so much wrong, but maybe not so efficiently as they could. Um, so in this very short, hopefully, video, um, I'll show you what I go through. It's just personal to me, but hopefully you can take bits of this and make your training a bit more structured and get more out of your practice. Okay, once again, look, this is just me. I will not even turn the screen on if I'm indoor. I've got a wedge. I don't even know what wedge. I've just picked it up. I'm just trying to make some contact with the ball on the ground um, while I'm sort of moving. That was a thin one, but who cares? I'm just coming up. And this might be after I've done some sort of, you know, like stretching. So if you've got time to stretch, great. Um, I would do normally. I know some of you guys won't have that luxury if you're popping down for like an hour practice. You don't really want to spend, you know, the first 10 minutes not hitting golf balls. I get that. Um, but you need some sort of warm-up. So it's something specific to you, maybe that you need to do as part of um, your day-to-day -day stuff. But as you can see here, I'm, I'm hitting like, you know, I'm standing anywhere near what we would do normally. I'm just getting some feel for the club hitting the bottom of the golf ball. That felt a bit longer, that swing. So I'm starting to go a bit longer. And I'm just, ball position was terrible there. It doesn't matter. Like, you can't win the warm-up. So I don't care where these are going, which is why I've not got the screen turned on. And I might go to some longer wedges eventually. I might start now, roughly, get myself in some sort of start position. I hit a few longer ones. But there's zero thought about technique. I've got a rough idea where the ball might go, but I don't really care. So I see a lot of players that will hit a shot in the warm-up. Oh, it's gone left. So it does not matter. You're warming up. You're just hitting a few shots. And um, I must have shanked, I can't count how many shots warming up, even technically. Um, on the golf course too so if you hit some bad ones in the warm-up it doesn't matter it's a warm-up so once i'm up to what maybe is full speed i'll do a few with a i've got just a seven iron here as well so i have a few sort of fuller swings now again not really think about technique that's miles left but again who cares it's a warm-up um so a few fuller swings now just to get myself moving another terrible strike but again it's warm-up doesn't matter And then once I feel like I'm up to speed, I'm going to try and hit some weird shapes, like those weren't weird enough. So I might try and hit some like even bigger hooks than that. So starting right, moving loads left. I might try and go the other way. Oh, a little change in setup. Hitting some different shapes. I might hit some lower ones, higher ones, just to get my body moving in different directions. Because again, you're going to need to move differently on the golf course. Um, and then I will spend some time with a warm-up specific to what I'm working on. So for me, that is hitting a bit lower. So this is moving towards some sort of technique, but I'm going to have a few lower shots where it won't be quite a full swing now, but I'm focusing more on having my hands for the forward pressure and the rotation at the right time. But again, that's just me. So let's come out lower. Lower. And another low one. And when I feel like I'm up to speed, I've been breathing a bit differently already, trying to talk at the same time, lack of fitness, and um, now I might start to think something a bit more technical. So for this technical part, I've taken the numbers off. I'm looking for a change in the picture, so a change in the movement. My now my issue is me looking a bit like this. So high and left is my bad shot normally. So I'm trying to get a little bit quieter. With this, I'm trying to have my hands a bit further forward, and I'm trying to rotate with some tilt at the right time. Now, I've got drills for that, and if you're putting up sticks or slow motions, again, it's going to be your drill, but I will try and make that picture look a bit different. So, again, still no data on there. Definitely a slow one. And, again, my feeling was that that right foot was quiet. So I've turned well, hit it sort of at quite a nice height, so quite a good launch for me. And it didn't go left, which there's no picture there. If you're on a driving range, you'll see it not go left. But for me, that's quite good footwork. So I'm working on what I'm doing here. I'm trying to extend that way. So I've got my own stuff to work on. You will have two. Didn't strike it well, but maybe the footwork was okay. I'm looking for a change again in the picture. Not really the data just yet, which is why it's not on the screen. So I can check out that swing. Yeah, acceptable. So feeling okay at this speed. And again, this is just my... 
technical part of the session. So it's a few slower swings, a few slower, shorter swings. Um, looking at the picture, I might have something set up to help me with this, um, like you might have as well. But again, quite happy with that timing. Now I'm going to look at the data for that. So I've clipped up a few numbers there, but what I'm really looking for is the last one's quite decent at a slower speed. Um, is me being optimal on strike. So I've just changed this now to a 7 iron stealth. So that's the previous shot. Now, typically my bad one, if we have a fire bad swing, so it would be like a high, usually left, high sort of left shot. There you go. So I'm down on where I should be. That's my bad one. So hitting down the ball, but adding too much loft as I hit it. So I'm looking to try and get that down a little bit. Now this is quite a strong 7 iron. It's 28 degrees. Um, mine isn't. But using this club, I'm trying to get this ball flight a bit lower. So I'll start with the slower ones, like I've done already. So now I've changed my mindset slightly to uh, from what I'm doing with this foot to more, can I hit it lower? You know what? That's acceptable. That's six yards off optimal. And I've brought my spin loft, which is angle of attack compared to loft at impact, dynamic loft. Brought that down, launched a bit lower. It's on target. I'm fairly happy with that. I've taken the video off because now I'm trying to hit shots. And I'm going to trust that my previous practice has made a difference with that foot. So the feeling's still the same for the drill, in terms of what I'm working on here. Uh, but now I'm really thinking more about just can I hit it lower. So it's still technical. I'm still looking at numbers now. But I'd say less internal thought than what I was doing earlier. Because it's something I might be trying to play with a little bit more. So still at slower speeds. And again, only six yards down. But you can see compared to my first one, those numbers are better. That one's gone left though, so I need to sort the club face out. So as I'm doing that, I need to improve that a little bit. So we'll try another one. So we're still trying to hit the target with this one now as well. Might leak a bit right. And that we're okay, let's come back. That's good. And again, a little bit uh, too high on that one. Didn't quite strike it, which was the main reason for that. Uh, distance been a little bit down but I've gone from a warm-up hitting some weird shots a small bit of technical work the amount of time you spend on each of these will vary so this time in the season when we're trying to play my technical work will be minimal and I'm just trying to play with what I've got I'll still work on the technical stuff in the meantime but it'll be a lot more like skill development which will be the next part of the session which we'll have a look at now so I was technically looking at some of the video changing the position then some numbers now I'm combining that a little bit and uh, trying to make myself um come up with a feeling swing from the technical work that I can put onto the golf course. So for me, that's trying to start the ball lower and right, basically, which we're going to do a bit more of now. So um, I use that screen. You might use um, the launch or path, whatever you're working on. My path's been pretty good for the last one, at least anyway. So I'm happy with that. It's just, can I get the hands a bit further forward? Can I time when I use the ground? And if I'm more optimal, that's sort of my goal. Uh, the last couple have been okay. We'll try one more. at slower speeds there we didn't get one there or thereabouts and now I'll go longer swing and see um, how far I am off we're going to me trying to start it low to the right it's missing but launched it okay looks a bit generous that because I've actually closed the club face too much it's gone miles down the left hand side uh, but again that's me trying to hit it low so I've got that a little bit wrong but closer to some of the numbers so now can I start that a bit more online? And strike wasn't there. But it's apart from the strike, that's not bad. So small miss left, not bad, still on the green. Um, numbers down a little bit more. So that's there or thereabouts. So I can I can probably play with that. So spend the time you need to on the technical stuff. If you're newer to the game, that might be a bigger amount of time. Technical work is going to make your swing better. It won't make you more skillful, so you have to throw in some skill development as well. Okay, so my particular, um, for myself anyway, you have your own things as well. If you haven't got your own one, I've not sent it to you, or you want something new, you let me know, but I've got a catalogue of these drills if you like, or you can make up your own ones that are relevant to what you're working on. So for me, it's going to be um, launching it lower. So this is a 28 degree 7 iron. So I'm looking to get that. I think optimizer was like 14 or below, which is scary for me, but we'll give it a go. Um, I'm going to try and get at least under 17, would be good. Um, so launching it much lower. I'm trying to start the ball to the right of that line. Looks like more of a draw player. 
and not miss by more than 45 foot left. So I use 45 foot or 30 yards wide as a generous green, let's say. Um, so that's my target. So I'm looking to start this to the right. I'm going to sort of game mode now. I might even, I've got the line down the screen, but you could throw an object in front as a bit of a target. Um, so I'm in sort of playing mode now. So it's full swing. Can I hit a lower one? Starting it right, keeping this in play. Apart from being really healy and a bit thin, it's worked. So super low, might have started right, but I'll probably take that just to can be down a bit on carry, but it launched lower. So back into routine, give myself maybe five shots of this, and you can recall where you miss. Was it high left one? That was just a bit low and healy. We'll try another one. Again, started okay-ish. Launch was okay. Um, not 10 out of 10 for strike, but again, it's in that sort of target. Um, and then give yourself an amount of shots. It's measurable. Yeah, so I did, let's say, 10 shots. Change clubs as well. 10 shots with a 6 on, I did it. With a 7 on, I did it. 5 on, maybe I didn't do it. Um, and set your parameters that you're working on. Measure it, record it. Easy on track, man. Write it down in your notebook. It doesn't matter. And whatever works for you. But you need something measurable. Um, that you can see if what you're working on technically is improving with this sort of skill game. So I've not seen the video for this one because I don't really care what I look like. I just need something I can use on the golf course. So for me, it's starting it right, hitting it low. Let's try one more. The launch angle's down for me, which is good. Ah, oh, we're in, 10 inches left, here we go. And then you might take this to like a plan on the golf course or some different targets. Trackman, I've got a performance center now, so you can actually measure it a bit more realistically. Let's show you that now. Okay, so in the performance center on Trackman, I'm now going to get rated against a Tor Pro um, on strokes gained. Don't know about strokes gained, just Google strokes gained. Um, so I've got deliberately a pin on the left, the bunker on the left. My miss is left. I'm going to aim slightly right, like you should do. If you've got a slice draw or whatever, and your bad one goes a particular side, not cheating, you just play into your pattern of shots. My pattern is draw or hook, um, or pull hook. Um, so with the pin on the left-hand side at this distance, which is 180, I gave myself a 184 apparently, um, with this 7-iron should be all right, um, I'm aiming middle of the green. Now, I'm going to go through my routine. I'm going to have my sort of pre-shot feel of that. When I step over the ball, I'm probably just going to try and squash it low to the right. I'm also, this is tricky now, um, there's the flag, which you probably can't see on the camera. Um, my target line is more this tree in the background. Now, when I set up, not only am I aiming for the tree, I'm trying to start it right of the tree, which is even further right of the target. Because I know my bad shots go left. It's really tempting to look at the flag when you're here. If you look at the flag, your brain takes over, you try and work out a way of hitting the flag, which for me is going to be closing the club face, which I'm trying not to do. I've got loads of room right-hand side of the green. I've just got to carry the front bunkers, and I should be okay. Um, if it moves left with where I'm aiming from, or aiming to, then great, it'd be nearer the hole. Um, so I'm into sort of pretty short routine mode, uh, behind the ball, I'm looking at the target to the right of the flag, so my brain sort of takes over and self-organizes my body, and I try and start it to the right of that, but um, let's have a go. So it's moving a bit left, it's gone a little bit too far as well, uh, so these seven irons go miles, but it's caught the back edge of the green, I'm okay. So I'm down a quarter of a shot on the tour pro, which Sort of okay in it really. Um, I think you want to get a bit closer than that if you're single figures. I need to check this, but single figures is probably about a quarter of a shot. Um, if you're less than that, then you're getting near a scratch. Um, so yeah, it's tough this game, but at least it keeps it consistent. And you're going to be down, you would think, after several shots. Um, but as long as you can record and measure and see how you improve, then great. Uh, so that one flew. I could get my launch angle out here, look at the data, but I'm more interested in what I'm doing with the um, actual, you know, plan. So I've got the same shot again. I wouldn't do too many of these at the same distance. I would definitely mix up the clubs, but um, just for this demo, we can uh, go the same distance again. So I'll take a bit off this. That one went, went miles. And could have struck that a lot worse, but not much. So it's going to sneak on. Just about got a bit lucky with that one. It wasn't a great strike, but on that occasion, I'm uh, tour average, just slightly better. 
that's a way of measuring how you're doing. You can take this to the golf course and you'll mix up the clubs even more. And you might just keep a note of, if it's me, I'm noting how many times I missed left when the pin's on the left. Um, really simple stats. But again, you can measure and see how you're doing and how you're improving. Uh, any questions on this, let me know. And hopefully the biggest thing to take out of this was how bad some of those shots are in the warm-up. We don't care. Um, and then that process of going through from warming up, technical, skill, performing which is what we're trying to do here. Um, you have your own way of doing it. Spend whatever time you need on each of those sections. I wouldn't at this time of the season, for those of you playing, go too technical. You want to try and play um, and get ready for the course, which hopefully when the weather's better, we will have more of. Um, but any questions, guys, let me know. I need to finish a video by holding it once.